Good morning, guys, from a sunny Dublin, Ireland. I'm standing next to the River Liffey, and over my shoulder is the Halfpenny Bridge. Um, the River Liffey cuts uh, Dublin in two, and so there's a lot of bridges in this city. This one over here, the Halfpenny Bridge, got its name because the guy that built the bridge, William Walsh, charged a half penny to cross it. He used to own seven small ferries that went back and forth across the river, but the town fathers made him get rid of the ferries. They were too unsafe to meet the union. Anyway, he said, I'll build the bridge, but I'm going to charge a half penny for him to use the bridge. And he got a guarantee from the city of Dublin, 100 years, in order to do that. Uh, in any event, um, the bridge has been here ne ever since 1816. Um, and it's, again, an amazing piece of technology in the early 1800s to be able to cast out this iron and have it shipped all the way from Shropshire, where it was uh, founded. Uh, it was assembled like a jigsaw puzzle, and, and it st stands today. It's only had a few major renovations. The last major renovation actually came in 2001 when it was finally determined that so many people across the bridge that it definitely needed some major rework. And so uh, that work was undertaken. And interestingly enough, um, the company that actually did the work is the same company that did the um, work on the Titanic, believe it or not. So Harland and Wolf was responsible for actually rebuilding this bridge. And of course, it's still here, unlike the Titanic. But again, you can't blame Harland and Wolf. I mean, you didn't expect an iceberg to come down and rip this thing apart like it did the Titanic. Anyway, uh, that's the story of the Halfpenny Bridge. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.